to white cup geography today we're going to look at the command word of evaluate this is going to be a longer answer extended question usually somewhere between six and nine marks Evaluate just means present the key points about different ideas, so the strengths or the weaknesses of an idea. If you want to think about it in a different way, it could be positives and negatives, or a different way, it could be advantages and disadvantages. Any of those are fine. In terms of your answer, where you can, at the top right of the slide here, you've got the SEE, -E, the social, economic and environmental aspects. Cover some of those if you can. In terms of a structure, in the main part of the slide here, we've got the introduction, the CS, the case study, the example. You'll definitely need these with some geography words, place names, a little bit of data in there somewhere. In terms of how it's going to look, you've got the green thumbs up arrow, and that is going to be the positives. Maybe a couple of points you're going to make there. Then use peel, so make your point, evidence, then explain it and link back to the question. Also, you're going to make a mini decision. So there's a mini set of scales there. We're going to tell you how to do that in the next slides. Then you're going to look at the disadvantages and peel, which is the point, evidence, explain, link it back to the question. Again, another short mini decision statement before you reach your final decision. There's quite a lot of information on this slide here. So at this point, just pause glance over the information before you hear me talk through the rest of this slide just get a feel for what's on it so pause at this point now the evaluate question where you're going to present information about the strengths and weaknesses of an idea is all about the decision that you make a judgment at the end so don't forget to reach a judgment the question example would be evaluate the success of an ecotourism project that you have studied you could, if you wanted to, as the bottom left hand side, you could look at this in terms of strengths and weaknesses. You can see, like a seesaw, the positives, the negatives. You could, if you want, on the top of the structure strip, see it as a scale where you're assessing something, you're evaluating it somewhere on that scale. You could, if you wanted to, look at the SEE -E impacts, so the social, economic, and environmental impacts. In terms of the structure, though, you're going to look at four different sentences. Your first sentence is going to include your case study, your place name, where you have studied, where you've looked at, the place where you know the data, the geography words, the examples. That's going to be your first sentence to introduce it. Then your second sentence is going to be your peel paragraphs, your point, evidence, explain, link back to the question. It's going to be your positives or the strengths or the advantages of your idea. Then you're going to make a mini decision. This is probably the bit that most students struggle with. So let's have a look at how we're going to structure this in the green box here. The main advantages of something are, this is because as shown by, that gives you opportunity to put in some of your data, some of your examples and develop your idea. However, we're now going to look at the mini decision. At that point, you're going to say, this is significant because, or this is important because, at that point, you've made a decision. Now, of course, you could look at the other side, number three. Number three is about the negatives, the disadvantages of something or the difficulties of something. You're going to do your peel paragraph, which is the point, evidence with data, explain it with geography words, and then link back to the question. And finally, your mini decision. So the example might be in this box here, we've got the main disadvantages of something or this is because as shown by that gives you opportunity to develop your answer with data geography words place names then the mini decision that's often what students miss out so you're going to say this is important because this is assessment objective three in terms of the exam board marking criteria the application the decision making then final paragraph you're going to weigh up what you've said and then make your final decision. And you might want to say overall the something is successful because or overall the something is significant because. So your final decision. Just keep it short, but don't repeat your first sentence. 
On the next slide, we're going to look at an example of how this might look in terms of an answer. We're going to remove the left-hand side of this slide here, move it all over to the left a little bit, and that gives us space to the right-hand side to give a sample answer. On the left-hand side of this slide, we've got the structure strip, your first, your second, your third, and fourth sentences that you're going to write about, your positives, your negatives. Down the middle, you've got some words that might be able to help you. And on the right-hand side, you've got an example answer. Have a go at this point to see if you know what goes in the lines here. If not, just pause and just wait for the answers in a moment. So here's a possible answer. The Capoeira Eco Lodge in the Amazon rainforest, the country of Brazil, is an example of ecotourism. The main social and economic advantages are, and they're going to develop that idea there. So maybe jobs, maybe income, and that would be the economic factors. This is because, and then say why jobs are important. Think about tax, and then that goes to the government to pay for infrastructure. The environmental advantages are, Maybe think about the local materials that are used. So it's not bringing in materials from outside and it's using sustainable sources. So wood, for example, in the Kapawi Eco Lodge. Then say, this is good because. Your final mini decision in this paragraph is going to be, this has been successful because. And then pick out the most important point. Next, you're gonna look at the disadvantages. And they're going to look at the SEE -E again, social, economic, environmental, particularly the environmental and social. The main environmental disadvantages are, and they could talk about transport. That's getting some of the goods into the Kapawa Eco Lodge, maybe the food, also getting the guests themselves there. So it's going to be a high carbon footprint, so write about that. This means that, and then, as we said before, talk about carbon footprint print then the release of co2 into the atmosphere the social disadvantages are they can may say maybe there's going to be some erosion of the culture so more people coming in is going to dilute the culture then make your mini decision some would argue this hasn't been successful because that's your mini decision finally overall i believe that the kapawa eco lodge has therefore been successful because they're going to say why. In summary, the evaluate command words means present the key points about different ideas, the strengths, the weaknesses. You're going to give the positives with development and mini decision. You're going to give the negatives with development and a mini decision before arriving at your final decision. As ever, include data, examples, jobs with some place names, and you might even want to talk about the SEE, -E, which is the social, economic, and environmental impacts before reaching your final decision.